Prince Harry heartbroken as Sussex's Archie Will Projects Deep and Royal Family Split. Prince Harry was reportedly heartbroken after Archie Ewell's first audio venture appeared to widen the gap with the royal family, a podcaster claimed. Prince Harry was left heartbroken over his struggling relationship with the royal family since his departure from active duties in 2020. Podcast host Rachel Bowie claimed that the relationship appeared to worsen further soon after the release of the first episode of the Archie Will produced podcast Harry and Meghan Markle recorded last December. Ems Bowie noted the Duke's friend, broadcaster Tom Bradby, had highlighted Harry's unhappiness with the situation last year. The royally obsessed presenter said, Tom Bradby was saying that Harry is heartbroken by what's going on with his family. That was kind of big story too. We know that the press operates with an invisible contract, that there is always this kind of give, push, pull kind of mechanism going on. So I thought it might be interesting to look back. This was all pre-Oprah, there was a lot of unknown to all of us while we were still kind of contemplating the separation when the Sussex is being here, in the US, we weren't vaccinated, there was a lot, going on. I kept thinking about this that there was right after the first episode of Arch UL. The royally obsessed presenter said, Tom Bradby was saying that Harry is heartbroken by what's going on with his family. TV anchor Bradby said that Prince Harry had been heartbroken by the situation with the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan are planning to visit the UK after he was extended an olive branch by his father, Prince Charles. Mr Bradby interviewed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their tour to Africa in 2019 about their charity work. However, the couple also spoke about the pressures they faced as royal members on a global stage with striking a balance between public duties and private life. He said, I think he, Harry, is heartbroken by the situation with his family, you don't necessarily need to have knowledge to know that, but I think it is true. Mr Bradby revealed that the royal split had been difficult for most of the royal family, especially Harry and his older brother Prince William. He said, well, just the situation with the family clearly isn't ideal and it has been a very difficult year for them all. To some extent I felt a little bit caught in the middle of them with that documentary which is a deeply uncomfortable place to be and that is, in a way, why I am always reluctant to say anything more because I don't want to make anything worse or get in between anything or anything like that. He said, it was a very psychologically complex project because they were clearly in a difficult position. I went thinking I was making a documentary about them sort of resetting themselves in public life, and it became increasingly apparent to me the depth of their unhappiness and that really what I was probably recording was likely to be their exit from public life. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex admitted they felt unhappy with the way they had been treated by royal aides when seeking support for the intense pressure they faced during their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview in March last year. While Prince Harry has returned twice to the UK since stepping down, he stayed in the country less than a week on both occasions and was not accompanied by Meghan on either occasion.
the depth of their unhappiness and that really what I was probably recording was likely to be their exit from public life. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex admitted they felt unhappy with the way they had been treated by royal aides when seeking support for the intense pressure they faced during their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview in March last year. While Prince Harry has returned twice to the UK since stepping down, he stayed in the country less than a week on both occasions and was not accompanied by Meghan on either occasion.